What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the past series here on FS1. We are at... <laughs> I'm sorry. We are at Texas World Speedway for the 18th race of the season. I know we were supposed to look at points after the last race at Talladega, but it'll be a straight five race shoot from here, and we can just look at the points after every race after that. So might as well just do it that way. Um, anyway, yeah. We are at Texas World Speedway, as I said, getting ready for, uh, I guess, a mini Talladega. I mean, hey, the banking is there. It's concrete rather than asphalt, yes, but it's gripped up to where it's flat out. It's pretty, pretty wide, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a crazy one. Patrick Chelch is your pole sitter with a 23 of Josh Krug on his outside. The 65 of Justin Marks starting in P3 with the 5 of Bobby Gerhardt starting P4. The 27 of Stan Hornish Jr. rounds out the top 5 and starting to his outside is the 16 of Justin Allgaier. Pace car heading through 3 and 4 leading the field around this 2 mile concrete racetrack. Now, off of turn four, we'll see him make that hard left turn on the pit road, leaving the field in the hands of Patrick Shelter in the 60. Here we go. Green flag in the air. We are racing from Texas World. And I know this race is extremely short, but I mean, it never... We're, we're still working on the package for this one, all right? <laughs> just, just bear with us here through one and two, already four wide, already looking at five wide as that five car peaked out a little bit there. Somebody could have got underneath him. Four wide, down a back stretch, and contact being made. Around goes Shelter, a huge crash on the back straightaway. It's the big one from Texas World, already taking out about half the field. A bunch of cars getting wiped out in that one. Here comes Justin Marks off turn four to win the race back to the caution flag. What in the world did we just see? Man, oh man. I cannot believe what we just saw. Wow. I believe Troy Wangerin, along with a bunch of other cars involved in that 40 making his first start of the season, I believe. Or at least one of his first starts. He doesn't, you don't see that name often. And unfortunately, he's got a damper on it here as he gets some early some damage on his car early in his race. Let's see what happened. Sheltra. Oh, man. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. 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 Sheltra slides to... Oh, there's just too much, too many cars trying to squeeze together there and not enough space. Now, I did mention this track is pretty wide, but you do have to get a good arc into the corner to be able to make it. Wow. Look at these guys further back just piling them up. Oh, the 25, Damon Lusk, about turned over there. About climbed on top of somebody, I should say. Man, oh man. Wow, my goodness. So the initial wreck happens back here. Then there's a stack-up wreck that occurs as these guys start running over each other trying to check up. And it's just nowhere to go. Nowhere for them to go. Nothing for them to do. Man just a wild one here just a wild wild wreck that's all I can say 51 of Brandon Witt is involved Michael Simcoe Michael McDowell Matt McCall I mean a lot of guys involved in this one see McCall getting a bit there he didn't get it too bad a couple cars through the grass Bush Jarvis in the zero up in the wall in three and four is Dominic Casola oh Jeremy Clements and Blake Feast trying to drive away from it, hit hard. McDowell, there's his damage. 22 of Josh Wise. Shelter is out already. The 09 of Eddie Mercer. Matt Hagen's in the 9. I mean, a lot of cars getting torn up here early on from Texas World, but we're not going to let that stop us from having some good racing, are we? Hopefully not. I know we only have about 10 competitive cars left in the field, but never say never. Early on, 
we might have lost most of the pack, but I'm hoping we can still get some good racing here on this restart. Green flag back in the air. We're racing once again from Texas World Speedway. Justin Marks leads us to the green. Jeremiah Cook on his outside. We're rolling once again. Now the 27 backs off a little bit. Doesn't want to hook that 23 car of Josh Krug. Four wide once again down the back straightaway, and it's not going to work again. Around goes Hornish. Around goes the 12 of Goslin. Another pile up on the back stretch. Man, these guys just not leaving enough room. And we did put a restrictor plate on the engines for this track that might play into it as well. So we're going to have to definitely make some changes to the package next season. We're just trying things out, testing as you may call it, some new things and trying to see what works, what doesn't. We don't want to see this track go from the schedule as unique as it is and you see a replay of it there. They all just kind of squeeze together and there they all go. Jason Hedleski, Sam Owners Jr., Mark Dimitrov. That mark, assumingly. I didn't. I don't really. Might have to do my research here, but we're coming to the green flag once again. Top two hasn't changed, but Josh Krug is in third now. Yes, that is Mark Dimitrov. Jerry Cook with a great jump on the outside, showing that maybe he doesn't just win on on road courses. He might have some super speedway racing in him as well. As we go three wide now down the back stretch, they're not trying four wide again. Thank goodness. Seems they've learned their lesson this time. Heading down the back straightaway in the three and four. Justin Marks' car just way too strong as he pulls away from the rest of the field. But I think he might have too big of a lead. But that 97 car might not be good enough on his own to just kind of suck up to his back bumper. He's going to need some help. And these guys are three wide behind him. That's slowing them down. I don't think they're close enough. I think it's just going to be the top two pulling away like this unless these guys can get in line and work together. 24, Benny Chastain. Another name we don't see often here. He moves down to the bottom lane, and he's going to probably get a good finish out of this. His car doesn't seem to have any damage on it, and most of the rest of the field has been taken out, so he might be in a good position here. As Benny moves to the bottom now, three wide. Matt McCall behind him, didn't have any help. He's falling back. Now he's got a push from the 26 of Brad Smith, and the 46 of Frank Kimmel is down there with them. these guys you see the damaged race cars down the back stretch big bumps there as well on the back straightaway that might have played into those wrecks earlier they're already squeezing together you throw some bumps in the mix that upset these race cars that are already on the edge of control and they're not in for a smooth ride there it might be it but here comes Benny Chastain pulling up to the back bumper of that 97 car Jeremiah Cook might have some help Unless Benny pulls out and tries to make a move, which I wouldn't doubt given the circumstances for Benny here. He's looking for the best finish he can get and thought about it. The 97 shut the door on him and he backs off to avoid wrecking him. Here comes the 23 of Josh Krug to the inside. He's going to have no help as Dexter Bean goes with the 24. The outside line is rolling right now down the front straightaway. But we know these guys are going to arc back down to the bottom, entering the corner. And that might have been a good, a wise decision for Josh Krug to go low there because he's going to keep his nose underneath and possibly take the spot away if he can hang on long enough. The 26 of Brad Smith tried to make it three wide, couldn't quite get it to work. 
They're still side by side behind, and that is not what Jerry Cook wanted to see in his mirror. He needs some help here. But now, Dexter Bean has cleared the 26. He's going to hop in line behind the 23, pushing him to the front. Josh Crew working his way to third place once again. Can he do anything with that 97 car? I don't know. It's going to it's gonna be close here by the end of this race for sure. But if these guys keep racing each other like that, they might not get there. But are they close enough to affect the speed of that 97? Give them a push. Push them forward a little bit. Move them closer to that 65. I don't know. They're trying. They are trying to. I don't think they're going to get there, though. Four laps to go from Texas World Speedway. Benny Chastain with another huge run. How, talk about huge runs. Here comes the... Is that the... 14 of Michael Folk? Yes, it is. Michael Folk, what a run on the bottom. And here comes the 23 underneath. Jeremiah Cook, Josh Cruz, and Jerry Cook side by side. Jeremiah's going to fall back, let some in line. Can he hop back down to the bottom in time to block that six car? No. Not turn down the banking. Wasn't sure if he was clear or not, and he might lose a couple more spots because of that but I think he is, his main goal might just be making it to the end cleanly here here comes Dexter Bean now once again Bean to the inside but no help but he's got the preferred line heading down the back straight away once again here comes 14 to give him a push Jeremiah Cook now on the bottom three wide once again for second place. I think the race for the lead has been pretty much disregarded at this point. Justin Marks has checked out. Nobody is there to challenge him. He's just cruising along. But how about Jeremiah Cook on the bottom making it three wide? Now four wide off turn two. Down the back stretch. This proved troublesome earlier in the race. Will they make it out alive this time? Yes, they will. Luckily make it through as we come to the white flag this time by one more time around for Justin Marks as the 97 gets cleared can he get a push from behind by the air from that 23 car doesn't look like it'll be enough white flag one more time around for Justin Marks Josh Crew back underneath Jeremiah Cook for second once again down the back straightaway for the final time over the bumps down the back stretch. Josh Krug clears the 97. Can Cook switch back underneath? Doesn't look like he will. Justin Marks sees the checkered flag and he wins from check from Texas World. Whew, man. Glad they made it to the end without another catastrophic wreck. Now the damaged cars working their way out of turn four and across the line here. How about that for Justin Marks? First win. That's going to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see y'all next. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, we're not done. It's time to look at your standings after. 18 races here in the past series. Philip McGilton is now your new points leader. And look who snuck in the contention for the championship. None other than Jeremiah Cook. 191 points back. He needs to hurry up and uh, close that gap quite a bit because if he doesn't, then Phil will have it locked up by uh, Homestead. So. Oh, I don't know why I went out. But looking at your winners, Philip McGilton, of course, the points leader with four the most wins this season. Justin Allgaier, Brian Silas tied with three. Michael McDowell has two. Jerry, uh, Jeremiah Cook, Frank Kimmel, Dexter Bean, Justin South, Justin Marks, and Brian, Brian Refner all have one win. That's going to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe. Hope to see y'all next time. And until then... Peace.